Hey guys, it's Minus5 and 7. This is episode 231 of my series, Things About Minecraft. Name of this is House Design Number Something. I haven't done a house design in a long time, so I don't remember the number. But just bringing you guys a simple house design. It's uh, using clay and some dark oak, uh, dark oak wood slabs. Dark oak wood. Pretty much just, uh, you know, using some of the new materials in the game. Got ourselves a birch door, and then when you come inside, it's just, you know, it's just nice and cozy, a nice, uh, you know, like a nice starter house, or just a house to put in your world, just to take up space. You know, if you got some people that you want to come to your world, and they can stay in this house. You know, it's pretty lovely, it's pretty nice, got little, little windows, and yeah, pretty cool. So, gonna get started here. This, uh, this house is a 7x5 measurement, overall. So, we're gonna do... Uh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do like one here, then we're gonna go one, two, three, and that that's gonna be five. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. Gonna do that, and then connect it over by two, like so, like two. Then you're gonna put one here, but you're not gonna put one here because that's the doorway. Then you're just gonna, you know, do another uh, three right here, another three right here, like that. So it's gonna be that shape overall. Oh messed up it's actually supposed to be like this flawless then just bring that up bring these two up on the back up and then come over here by the doorway and just two uh what's it called oh already messed up these are supposed to be like that also that's how it's supposed to look ladies and gentlemen then just uh use brown stained glass connect it around come to the other side connect it around you can use whatever glass you want i just thought brown stained kind of you know fit in I'm not really using old panes anymore, so for a colored glass pane, I opted for the brown. Alright, next order of business. On the top of the brown, you're going to put the white stained clay. And then, uh, you're not going to do that. You're actually going to just delete like that. And then you're going to take the brown, and you're going to put it like this. Alright. And uh, then, yes, you connect like this, connect like this. I leave the middle open right here. Just because I think it, uh, you know, just just adds a little more space. And then I just connect like so. Do that sort of deal. Just connect the slabs on the top of it. Alright, see? See? And then you're going to pretty much do the opposite color right here. You're going to do the brown. And then you're going to just connect the slabs. Other side. Do the brown. And then connect the slabs. And then you want to go inside and then you're going to delete. Oh, uh, you can delete these ones. I was I was a little confused there. I was like, wait, I recall there being more space inside, and then I realized that I didn't fully finish the roof. So that's why that was a little weird when I went and made that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the whole structure. Then you're just gonna come over here. You're gonna fill in or remove the grass and just fill in with a uh, you know dark oak planks and just fill it in like so. Go over here, put a door, put some torches like so. Then you're just going to clear out your hot bar. You're going to grab a bookcase. You're going to grab a flower pot, a rose. Then you're going to go and you're going to get yourself a bed, a chest, an ender chest just because. A uh, crafting table, furnace, and then a cauldron. So cauldron in the middle because I kind of like putting sinks in the middle. Furnace on the left, workbench on the right. It uh, doesn't matter which one you do. You know, you can do this however you want. Then I put a bed. Then I put a chest at the end. And then I thought the ender chest would look cool in here somewhere, but I don't really see space for it. So we'll put it on top. And uh, and then you're gonna just going to take your bookshelf, put a flower pot on it, and put a rose. And now it looks now it looks lovely. And last but not least, just take some uh, take some water, fill it up, and voila. You have yourself a, uh, a relatively simple house design, but it also looks pretty cool. So if you guys enjoyed this video and were able to follow along since I kind of struggled to recreate this house, I... Be sure to leave a like, and you know, don't forget to subscribe, and see ya.